Okay, here we are with another one of Jesus' miracles. So turn to this page right here. This is the loaves and the fishes. So another story about fish, and this is also about bread, loaves of bread. And you can see these people here, they seem to be carrying buckets of bread and maybe even so much because their heads are bent, maybe they're even heavy buckets of bread. And Jesus is standing above them with his arms outstretched like he is giving something. And then over here, we have a very beautiful bird. So you can look at the picture and follow along. The loaves and the fishes. When Jesus withdrew to the far shore of the Sea of Galilee, a large crowd of people followed him. For they had seen the signs and he gave, that he gave in healing the sick. Jesus went up to the hillside and sat down with his disciples. This was near the time when the great Jewish festival of Passover. Jesus looked up and saw large crowds coming to him. So he said to his disciple, Philip, where can we buy bread for all these people? Jesus only said this to test Philip, for he knew what he was going to do. Philip answered, 200 denarii would not buy enough to give everyone a small piece. And the disciple Andrew said, there is a boy here who has five barley loaves and two fishes. But what good will that do with such a great number of people to feed? Jesus said, make the people sit down. There was plenty of grass as there were as many as 5,000 people sat. Then Jesus took the loaves and blessed them and gave them to all who were there. He did the same with the fish. When all had eaten their fill, Jesus said to the disciples, collect all the pieces left so that nothing is wasted. The disciples did and they filled 12 baskets with a leftover, uh, with leftovers from the meal of five barley loaves and two fish. The people witnessing the sign said, this really must be the prophet who has come into the world. And seeing the people were about to come and make him king, Jesus fled and withdrew to the hills all by himself. So I wonder why did the people wanted to make him king, but Jesus left. He didn't want to be king. I wonder why. Why do you think?